<laughs> Goodness. Okay. <laughs> My name is Madison and I'm here today to talk about all my animals. If you are new here, welcome. I do a bunch of stuff on this channel. I like to talk about plants and animals. I like video games and I like the color pink. If you like any of those things, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and be a pal. Alrighty? Right? <laughs> okay. So how I'm going to be talking about everything is I'm going to talk about each animal in the order that I got them. So, a little bit of a backstory. I had a dog named Gizmo. His painting is up there. He was my childhood dog. He died 2017, right when I graduated from high school. And um, his name was Gizmo. He was the bomb. He was the best dog in the world. And Kyrie, you are also the best dog in the whole wide world. But anyway, after Gizmo, I lasted about three, not even three months before I had to get another animal. So that's when I got Janice. And Janice is my lion head rabbit. She's going, uh, she turned three this year in September. Kyrie, would you like a bone? I'm going to go get Kyrie a bone so she's not. <laughs> Okay, Kyrie has a bone. She's occupied. Let's continue. So, yeah, I got Janice about three months after Gizmo died. And she turned three this year in September. And she is just a little bundle of joy. I love having her. She is an amazing rabbit. Rabbits are so underrated as pets. And I think they deserve way more credit than they get. And rabbits are just intelligent, awesome pets. <laughs> And eventually I am going to go into rabbit care and all that stuff. I'm, I'm going to have care guides for all my animals. But yeah, that's Janice. Her full name is Janice Hoplin. She is amazing. She's a little bit of a sassy pants. <laughs> and we've gone through a lot together. We grew up together. We made mistakes together because she was my first rabbit. And she was an amazing sport through it all, I must say. So <laughs> yeah, that's Janice. Um, so everything... All the animals I talk about are going to be on a split screen because all my animals are in different places and blah, 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 blah. Um, <laughs> okay, so I think I got Janice in like November-ish, I think. And then Kyrie <laughs> came along in January of 2018. Come here. I must show you to the people. So then next up, I got Kyrie. <laughs> oh, wait, okay, okay, okay. I'll get your bone. Kyrie likes when I hold her bones for her while she chews on them. Well, anyway, this is Kyrie. I got her in January of 2018. Like, I, I had Janice, but my mom saw, still saw the void in me from losing Gizmo. So... My mom wasn't planning on getting a dog, but she <laughs> went to this lady's house to get a shirt, to buy a shirt or a sweatshirt or something. I think it was a, like a Craigslist or Facebook marketplace situation. And when she got there, there were a bunch of puppies there that she was trying to sell. And Kyrie kept following my mom around, which is exactly what happened with Gizmo. When she went and picked up Gizmo, he wouldn't stop following her around, so she was like, okay, you have to come home with me. And Kyrie did the same thing. So my mom's a little superstitious, and she was like, oh my god, this is Gizmo reincarnated. So she brought Kyrie home, and I was still sleeping. My mom walks in my room and just drops her on my face, and she was like, hey, Maddie, look at the neighbor's dog. Isn't it cute? And I was like, yeah, whatever it's cute and my mom's like so what are you gonna name her I was like oh, what <laughs> and she's like yeah I got it for you and I was like oh my goodness so I freaked out and my brother's room was right next to mine and I and my brother always uh, sleeps with his door locked and so I was pounding on his door and I had Kyrie in my hands 
and uh, Cole, he opens the door, rubs his eyes, and he can like barely see, and then his eyes just like blew up, and he was like, oh my god, and I was like, I know, I know, I know, <laughs> and he sat on his bed and went. So then I sat, him and I both sat on his bed with Kyrie in the middle of us, and we just stared at her to try to come up with a name. <laughs> So, and me and my brother both really like video games, as you can tell, I've made plenty of video game videos on this channel. And video games have always been a really big part of me and my brother's lives ever since we were kids. So, we were trying to think of all the different type of video game characters that we can name Kyrie after. And we ended up naming her Kyrie because it was that month that Kingdom Hearts 3 was coming out. So, we decided to name her Kyrie in celebration of Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> And she is the best dog. She's a Yorkie, Maltese, Sheltie, Shisu. And she is just the best. She is the most, like, she is the smartest dog I've ever had in my life. Like, <clears throat> if you know Kyrie personally, you know what I'm talking about when I say that she actually tries to have a conversation with you. And I feel like she knows, she knows what we're saying, you know? <laughs> I feel like she has a level of intelligence that I just, it, it blows my mind every day. It really does. <laughs> and I just can't do anything without her. She's literally my partner in crime and we do every waking thing together. We wake up together, we brush our teeth together, we brush our hair together, we watch TV together, we go on walks together, we go for rides together. <laughs> We cook together, we eat together, we do everything together, and she is the apple of my eye, and she is amazing, and she looks crazy right now while she's chewing on this bone. Right? <laughs> but yeah, this is Kyrie. She is the best dog of dogs, and I'm sorry, I, I'm not looking in the camera because I just keep looking at her in the viewfinder because she's so cute. I can't. Mm. Oh, and Kyrie's going to be three this year on November 1st. I bought her like a doggy cake mix and a doggy ice cream mix and I'm really excited. I think I'm going to have a little birthday party for her. But yeah, she's fantastic. Oh, and when she was a puppy, she broke. Let me see if I can show you. One second, Kyrie. She broke her paw. This paw right here. She broke it. And now there's like a little, a little something right there. And when she stands, her, her arm just like is ever so slightly out to the side. And it's really cute. <laughs> and you're just amazing and I love you. And Kyrie's the only dog I've ever had that genuinely likes to cuddle. Like at nighttime, she straight up spoons me and then kicks me all night. But if I move her, she'll get angry and she'll brawl at me. Okay, yes, 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 I got your ball. But yeah, this is Kyrie. She is fantastic. She is amazing. She is one of the best animals, just in general, that I've ever had in my life. I don't play favorites, but there's just something really special about Kyrie that I just can't explain. It's something, it's a vibe that you just got to get off of her from meeting her in person. She is, yeah. Many people can vouch for this. It's not just me being a crazy dog mom who thinks my dog is special. She is special. <laughs> if any of you know Kyrie in person, please comment down below your favorite story about Kyrie and everything that you love about her and vouch for me that she is not your ordinary dog because she is far from an ordinary dog. There's no such thing as an ordinary dog, but you, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. I've been blabbering about Kyrie forever and I can blabber on about her for literally ever. So we're going to move on to the next animal. There you go. <laughs> Okay, so then, a few years pass, I think two years pass-ish, and Janice went from being at my house to then living at my fiancé's house, um, where she is now, and, uh, and we noticed that her, like, attitude started to change a lot. She, I mean, she was already spayed. But we noticed her attitude changing a lot, and like she was hiding a lot more, and she was just overall like, I don't know, she just seemed like not her usual self. Are you okay? You keep making nose noises. <laughs> anyway, so we decided to get Janice a 
friend. So we... <laughs> Why does she keep making that noise? Anyway, so we found a rabbit rescue and we brought Janice to the rabbit rescue where they then brought us a rabbit that they thought would suit Janice best. And Janice is a lion head. I mean, she's not small. She's not a dwarf, but she's like five pounds, four or five pounds, I want to say. And when we went to the rabbit rescue, they brought us, and we saw this rabbit online. Um, it, he was just an all black Havana rabbit. And um, so we, we, yeah, so we saw pictures of him online and we were like, okay, yeah, this is going to be great. And then they pulled him out and me and Austin both looked at each other and our jaws dropped because he was way bigger than he looked in the pictures. Like he's like six, seven pounds and Janice is like four, four pounds, right? So they pull out this rabbit and me and Austin were like, oh my god, this is a big boy. And so the meet and greet happened and they just pretty much ignored each other, which is what you want to see. You don't want to see them fighting each other right away and they're obviously not going to love each other right away because they don't know each other. So they did great and then we brought them home and we named him Elvis Parsley. So we have Janice Hoplin and Elvis Parsley and they are literally the best of friends they are inseparable and literally janice's attitude was like a night and day difference so if you have a single rabbit and you're having issues try to get him a friend because it's man man the amount of difference that that janice having a friend made was astronomical but <laughs> so yeah and that's elvis um the story with him is that i guess I mean, they're just guesstimating how old he is. When they gave us to him, when they gave him to us, they guessed that Elvis was like two years old. And come here, why don't you just sit? There you go, sit. Um, so they guesstimated that he was around two years old, and he was found outside, living under someone's house. And when they found him, he had a bunch of cuterebras all over him. And if you don't know what cuterebras are, don't look it up while you're eating it. They're really nasty. They're botfly larvae and they just look like these giant, like, brown... They kind of look like, like deep embedded blackheads, but they're big. They're big. That's what they look like from the outside. But it's best to get them removed by a professional so that you don't leave pieces behind, but when you pull them out they're like this thick, giant, maggot-looking thing, and he had a bunch of them, like, all over him, and he still has, like, a bunch of bald spots where the hair will never grow back from them. But yeah, so they found him outside, they rescued him, treated him, neutered him, all that kind of stuff, and then he came to us, and he is just a big, lazy boy. He does not move. He just sits in his house, and he lays with Janice, and that is what he does. I mean, I get why, because he came from such a troubled background, you know, just living outside as a domesticated rabbit. That is not fun. So <laughs> he's been really taking a break from life, let me say. And I'm glad we were able to give him a life that he deserves, you know? It makes me feel good. So if you're thinking about getting a rabbit, please consider rescuing one because there are so many rabbits in need of homes because I think they're the number not number one, I feel like the number one is like hamsters, but rabbits are definitely a very neglected animal and they need help, like desperately need help. So please, if you're thinking about getting a rabbit, please rescue one, please rescue one. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so Janice, Elvis Parsley, best friends, Kyrie, me and Kyrie are best friends, and Kyrie and Janice get along pretty well too, right? You do like Janice. Do you like Janice? She's looking out the window like, what? Where's Janice? <laughs> beep. 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 <laughs> okay, and then the last animal that I have to talk about today is the newest member of my family, 
Momo the leopard gecko. So I don't know if Momo is a boy or a girl because you don't, you can't tell the sex until they're about five months old and Momo's not five months old. So I kind of use he and she interchangeably along with it, they, I just kind of use all the pronouns. So yeah, <laughs> I use, oh no, the sun's coming in. Well, anyway, I use all the pronouns for Momo because I won't know uh, until a few months from now. So anyway, I got Momo September 2nd, the day before Janice's third birthday. And a small family owned pet store near us had their first shipment of reptiles. So I was like, oh my God. And I had a 40 gallon breeder tank sitting just empty for over a year at that point. I was just trying to find something to put in it. My dream reptile is a blue tongue skink, but those are so hard to find because they sell out instantly, like instantly. I signed up for so many notification emails and by the time I got on the website, they were gone. Like blue tongue skinks are hot, hot, hot commodity. Northern blue tongue skinks, which is what I want. And they're like $300, $500, which I, I have a hard time choking up that kind of money, you know what I'm saying? And I was going to, but I couldn't find one. I couldn't find one. I was so angry. Ugh. And I couldn't go to any of the expos because, you know, COVID and I just didn't want to. But yeah, so I got Momo and Momo is amazing. Um, we named Momo Momo because this was during the Avatar craze that happened. I mean, I already loved Avatar when I was a kid, but rewatching it as an adult was a different experience. <laughs> yeah, and my fiance got into it too, which he's not like a cartoon person, but he really liked Avatar. So we named Momo, Momo, and he is, she, he, she is amazing. And I just, I don't know. Momo's great. Um, I think we're finally like getting tamed because now like Momo's active time is between like 11 p.m. and midnight is when he really comes out and wants to be handled. Like, like he'll sit at the very top of his like tall wooden thing that he, that he crawls on and like waits for me. And the second I put my hand down, he hops on and like crawls all over. It's like, he wants it. He wants it, <laughs> which is great. But yeah, uh, taking care of Momo has been great. The heating elements have been kind of tricky. I mean, it's my first reptile, so I've been really paranoid about it, but yeah. He hasn't had any shedding issues, not one, since I got him. And he shed like a good four or five times. And we've had no stuck shed. Eats really well for me. Momo actually ate the second I brought him home. I put him in the tank, gave him some worms, and he chomped him up. And yeah, eating is not an issue with him. He eats even while he's shedding. <laughs> he eats before his shed, which is interesting. And he's just really great. <laughs> really, really great. Really great. And yeah. I think that's all I want to talk about. <laughs> um, there are soon, well, not near future soon, but like a few years down the line soon of some animals that we plan on getting. So then I'm going to take this time to talk about animals that I really want to get and animals that I'm most likely going to get in the future. So if you would like to see these things, please subscribe because these are animals that I'm going to get soon. Once, once we get our, you know, lives figured out, you know, newly betrothed, <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, but anyway, I digress. Ooh. Ooh. So I'm thinking, me and Austin, my fiance, his name is Austin. Me and Austin have been talking about the next dog we're going to get. And we want to get a St. Bernard and we want to name him Appa. And he is going to be magnificent. And if you are interested <laughs> in seeing our journey with our St. Bernard, hit subscribe. I don't know when this is happening, definitely in the next few years. So stick around for that. Um, I eventually want to get two ferrets. 
Yeah. And I want a cat, but I only want one. I'm not, I'm not going to end up with five cats, even though I usually could, but I'm just going to get one. <laughs> and I'm going to stick with one. Because I, I always had kittens when I was a kid, but they never lasted long in my house. Um, you know, my mom was the kind of person who would get pets and then get rid of them, like get pets and get rid of them. So I never had cats for a long period of time. And I would just like to experience like the entire life of a cat. You know, get him as a kitten and then grow him up to be this big, magnificent cat. You know, I just want to have the entire cat experience. And I eventually would like to have betta fish. Like I'm, like I'm not super into the aquatic side of animal care, like water parameters are really tough and I don't think I'm the kind of person who could deal with something like that. But if I were to get any aquatic animal, it would be a betta fish or an axolotl. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> But then, so along with the St. Bernard thing, Austin texted me the other day pictures of Newfies and he was like, but wait. <laughs> and I was like, wait, so you want to get a Newfie over a St. Bernard? I mean, I don't agree, but to each their own, so we might be getting both. <laughs> Because, uh, I don't know, me and Austin are really big animal people and we're not planning on having kids, like, ever. So, I'm willing to get two giant breeds at the same time. It would be an adventure because I've only had experience with small breeds. Kyrie's over here. You can't tell that I'm petting her, but I am. Um, I've only had experience with small breeds, so our next dogs are going to be quite a change for me. <laughs> um, I like, I like having small dogs that you can just pick up and, you know, hold. And they kind of don't have a choice. <laughs> I mean, Kyrie, I, I don't do anything against Kyrie's will, but you know what I mean. If you, <laughs> if you need to get something done on a small dog, you can force it. Big dogs, not so much. Girl! Oh no, someone's here. Kyrie, shut up! This is my outro. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. It would make me so happy. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!
episode.